Hello and welcome to Warblog. Today I'm going to play uh, the capture of Bonnie Island by Afra 1967. A straight playthrough. I uh, did a preamble just a few moments ago and um, didn't really get to play it that much so I'm just going to do it. Made a few adjustments and so the Marines actually move a lot quicker through water. I don't need those kind of shocks. Um, so as you can see, it's only taken 0.7. So that means that I should be able to get to there in one go, which is a little more interesting than it was before, because it took me two turns to get there and etc. etc. But the most important thing, I think, is it means that I can now keep up with my ships. So going at the same rate, although that's only... In this scenario, I'm in a landing vessel, could have six and another one, so it wouldn't, wouldn't tally up. But obviously, I have to do it all one at a time, and I don't find it that frustrating, but I think some people might. I mean, it's more frustrating. When you've got a lot of when you've got a lot of counters and they're all doing the same thing, you know, I was like, I can't do the sort of drag and drop and everything. But um, the thing is, mostly I have thought it through, and, and one of the reasons I, I do like that one move at a time thing is because the situation changes. I can move there and then reconsider my strategy. If it's one of these things, I click on there and I get shown everything, I just move it. I didn't really consider it once I got to there. I thought, hang on, like, now I'm there. It looks different. You know, I think it gives for a more refined strategy. And this time what I'm going to do different is I'm going to attack this unit. One point one damage. And I'm going to bring one, two, three, four, five, six. I have to be at least sort of there. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yes. Hmm. Oh, I see. He's all moved up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, bringing two ships to bear means that I'm going to do a little more damage on that unit. Uh, the Biafrans again not going to do anything. Now, hmm, 0.7, 1.4, 2.1, that means I can't land there, I could land anywhere in here, which I think I'm going to do. Yep, yep, but end of my effort, so they're not, they're not going to do anything. So we're going to land, I mean this is generous really for the north. And I'll leave the landing craft there because it got beached and I won't use it again. So I could have gone up to here and really gone down north, but I'm still aware I've only got 15 minutes to play it, so let's not worry too much about the historical narrative. We, I mean, to be quite honest, we could have just come in here. <laughs> it would have been so much easier. But we're going to try and do some damage here. It's the landing craft we can't use. I'm doing them separately. What I'm trying, hoping for, well, he's nearly at a routing stage. Next turn. I think the Biafran's now realising that there's some units are going to start moving. To reinforce. 
Do we want to move there? Possibly. Okay. So. I mean, I could do them at the same time, but the odds are sort of slightly different. It's sort of one of these, oh, look at that, no effect. I didn't need that. 0.2. It's because he's now dug in. Okay. Okay. We should be able to do something here. D. Okay, so that's that. So the Biafrans are still going to try and close the gap here. I think we should really move in with that stack there. Okay. Two damage. Five point one. So he would have he would have had a um he would have had a morale check on that one percent. He would have another one there at six percent. Okay. So Really need this around, I don't think. I think that one of these units is at half. DE. Okay, and here. So these. Success of the advanced strategic naval bombing is playing off because <laughs> I could have put these, made these units stronger or something, but um, you know, there was virtually no resistance in the description that I've read. So, well, I think the Biafrans really don't know that things are as bad as that, and so they're going to try and reinforce and they're going to tr try and engage. Small naval bombardment. And I can't. He's already done it. So. Alright, let's buy a turn. Okay. No effect. Point four. Okay, so hmm. three and three, is that right? Three and three.
Yep, so truly removing the biafran resistance. It's nice when you've got a game that's so easy to win like this. I hate losing against myself. I don't really, I just said that, so I'd say that, but um, I'm just sort of thinking, you know, if you, a lot of these games that people say, oh, you can't play this, there's no, no challenge, but it's, you know, for me there is, sort of play it through and try and get the historic sort of sequence um, to some extent, you know, and uh, I feel like getting that slightly. Um, I wish we could have done more damage initially with the naval bombardment, so it's quite it's relatively insignificant, but um, we've essentially taken Bonnie Island. Uh, we only really want to get to turn six, that's what I'm really sort of angling at. So, let's see if I can speed things up a bit. So, we're taking Bonnie Island, we're just sitting there. And we've taken no damage at all. Just DEs, DEs, DEs. Not a single exchange. They could surrender, but... No point. Oh, look, we've taken the port. So... It's turn six, and oh look, here comes the BNS Ibadan. Does that move yet? So. Five to one and the DE. So the odds aren't so great, just one to one, but we might be able to get both these units onto that. Should have done that before, so seven to one and another die roll of one. So that's all the land units. So now the Ogoja. No movement. In about two and a half minutes. Their ship is coming to the to the rescue with its two inch guns or whatever. And the Ogoja is going to meet it for a naval engagement. Oh. What's happened there, isn't it? Hello, I uh, fixed that. <clears throat> so, just a little glitch. So I should now be able to bring my Nigerian Navy to bear. Oops, I should have moved it that far. One, two, three, four, five. If I'd gone there, I could have fired, but I've messed that up. So, whatever. He's going to fire his two inch guns. 1.8. 1.8, that seems to be sort of working. And he's going to fire back now. <laughs> Flip the turns over, so it's actually the Nigerian turn. Point four. Okay. So the the Biafran ship with its two-inch guns that are not locking every two or three shots is certainly oh yeah look at that he's got more rounds as well that's another thing basically um <coughs> oops, sorry about that just scratching um we've only got three seconds left there's been some changes um they can fire more than once a turn so this guy can fire three times so he could have fired three salvos onto there so the game would have been much better much different i'll speak to you later bye